John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth.
John chapter 2. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Water into wine, water into wine, it changed my life. John chapter 3. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him.
give us eternal much he wants you this is how much he cares for me he died to give us eternal life for God so loved the world he gave his only son so that all could be saved and known in love. What a Savior sent from heaven, Jesus we
John chapter 4. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is Spirit and His worshipers must worship in the Spirit and in truth. You said you're searching for those who will praise you. 
John chapter 5. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there is in Jerusalem near the Sheep Gate a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me get into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat and walk. And at once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. I want to encourage somebody today. If God's been good to you, you ought to put a smile on your face. God's telling you, get up. Get up out of that situation. Oh, yeah. Listen. Get up. Pick up your man.
John chapter 6. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, where they got into a boat and set off across the lake for Capernaum. By now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were frightened. But he said to them, It is I. Don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. John chapter 7. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scriptures has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. On hearing his words, some of the people said, Surely this man is the prophet. Others said, He is the Messiah. Jesus, we believe You're the source of life and peace Fill our thirsty soul Let the river flow From our hearts out 
to the world Lord, let it be outpoured Oh, living water Living water Fill us up Fill us up We believe you're the Lord Messiah King. Refresh and bring us hope, Lord. Mm. Living water, living water, fill us up, Lord. Fill us up. John chapter 8, Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Who the son sets free is free.
worship the king who the sun sets free is free Sunsets free is free indeed, and I'm no longer a slave. I've been adopted by His grace. Who the sun sets free is free. John chapter 9. As Jesus went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, he spit on the ground made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. I once was blind, but now I can see. Are the Son of Man, the King of Kings. Lord, I believe now, and I worship Thee now. You are the Son of Man, the King of Kings. And I once was lost. Now I am found You are the Son of God Light of the world And you took my blindness And all of my sorrow and pain To put on display works in a day. Lord, I believe, I believe you are the King. You are my healer. All that I need. You are the Son. my sight, Lord, show me the way, the way I should work for you, Lord, now that it's day, the night it is coming, when all of the work must be done, oh Jesus, Messiah, Show me the way Oh, show me the way Lord, I believe, I believe You are the King, my King You are my healer Oh, that I need, yes You are the Son of oh. 
ξεφύγει John chapter 10. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. John chapter 11. Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. 
the one who believes in me will live even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. The dead man came out, his hands and his feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Eternity. He said, Last.
John chapter 12. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served, while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of perfume. The next day, a great crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. We give our best praise to thee. We give our best praise to thee. We give our best praise to Thee. We give our best songs to Thee. We give our best songs to Thee. We pour out the oil of our love and adoration. We give our best praise to Thee. John chapter 13. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. 
Then Jesus said, Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Make me a servant. Make me a servant. For you are the servant of all. Though you are king, you bow down and wash our feet. For you servant of John chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My father's house, there's a place for you. In my father's house, everything will be brand new. In my father's house, there is only peace and love. In my father's house, I'll 
prepare a place for us Let your hearts find comfort Though for now there's trouble Believe and trust in me The way, the truth, the life In my Father's house There's a place for you my father's house everything will be brand new I will come I will greet you on that day all your brothers and sisters will smile and say in our father's house there's a place for you, yes In our Father's house Everything has been made new In our Father's house Only peace and love In our Father's house He's prepared a place for us John chapter 15 I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now. Remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Even as the Father, He has known me. Even as the Father lives, Even as the Father, He has loved me I love you, I love you Remain, remain in my love I am the vine, you are the branches me and my grace you can do nothing yet with me there is nothing you can do 
or remain, remain in my life. Mm, remain, remain in my life. Don't stray away. Hold fast, only remain. Oh, just stay. John chapter 16 These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. May your peace be Be of good
John chapter 17 I pray that they will all be one just as you and I are one as you are in me father and I am in you may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me Obangiji ka hada kan mu mu zama mutun daya to worship you and to pray the prayer that you prayed for us just as the father god and you are one give us unity and harmony make us one 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 living in your love 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 make us one
John chapter 18. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Judas the traitor was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again he asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they said. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. If you are looking for me, then let these men go. When the time had come To offer up your life you gave it willingly When they sought you out To lead you to your death You came courageously For me Time had come to drink the Father's cup. You didn't run away, Lord, didn't run away. Accused with shouts of hate while they were leading you, leading you away. Can I do but give you my life? Oh, my prayer for me. John chapter 19. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the middle. Later, knowing that everything had now been finished, and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, 
I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on the stalk of the hyssop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. The cross, the cross, the old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. Mm, the cross, the cross, the old rugged cross. It was there, all my sins washed away. Mm. How can it be such glory and suffering? We met here together on this cursed red tree. He cried, it is finished. The Father's will accomplished Suffered and died That all may be forgiven On the cross The cross The old rugged cross It was there When my Savior would have In chapter 1 of the Gospel of John, we learn that Jesus was with the Father in heaven from the very beginning. But because of his great love for you and me, he showed up on planet Earth 2,000 years ago. In fact, he showed up in Jerusalem, born in Bethlehem, and in Jerusalem, 7,500 miles from where I stand, died on a cross for you and for me. But before he died, he lived a perfect life and performed many miracles, a lot of them we've been singing about. Turned water into wine and made the lame to walk and blind to see, calmed the storm and raised the dead. He's the God who calls himself the, the good shepherd who takes care of his sheep and the servant of all by the way he washed his disciples' feet. And it's in the Gospel of John, the most famous Bible verse of all, for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whosoever would believe in Him would not have to perish, but would have eternal life. For God so loved you and loves me that whosoever, anybody, no one is too far gone, would believe that He's the Son of God, He's the Messiah, He's the Savior of the world, could live forever 
and be forgiven of their sins. That's the gift offered to you today. If you would like to commit your life to Him or recommit your life to Him, confess your belief in Him, I'm going to invite you to repeat this prayer after me. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, come and forgive me of my sins. I believe that you are the Son of God. I surrender my life to you. Give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God. Welcome to his love and his grace. And this is just the very, very beginning of your journey as you learn to follow him and obey him and worship him and love him. There'll be information on resources that can help you as you begin your journey. And until then, may the love of our Savior flow in and through your life. Amen. God bless. John chapter 20. At this she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabbani, which means teacher. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord.
John chapter 21. After breakfast, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, Peter replied, you know I love you. Then feed my lambs. Jesus repeated the question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know that I love you. Then take care of my sheep. A third time he asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. He said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said, then feed my sheep. Yes, we love you, Lord. And yes, we love you, Lord. We will go and feed your sheep. Yes, we love you, Lord. And yes, we love you more. And we will take care of you. To the farthest reaching nation, we will share your endless love. Yes, we love you, Lord. Yes, we love you, Lord. We will go. Yes, we love you, Lord. Oh, yes, we love you more, and we will take care of your land. We will go and feed your sheep. We will take care.